What can a woman do when she comes up against the humbling tactics of her man? When a man goes out of his way to show his woman she is not as pretty, not as intelligent, not as privileged as she thinks. It's weird. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. How can you, how can we as women deal with the humbling tactics of men, of your man specifically? Some women are in relationships with men who a lot of people are convinced and I'm starting to understand and believe, really don't like them. And it's because men are going out of their way to humble their women. I saw a clip of Tawanda Braxton on, t uh, on TikTok with her and her husband. And she, at the end of everything, told everyone that, you know, I have to go to work tomorrow. So I'm going to wrap this up. And then she backtracked and said something to the effect that I don't have to go to work because I have a husband who provides for me financially, spiritually, mentally, physically, in every way. And instead of this man taking the compliment, he went on to humble her. He went on to tell her that, well, you have to go to work. Um, the Tawanda, I know she's going to work. You're not sitting around and getting your nails done, hair done, everything did. You're not doing all of that. The Tawanda, I know works. Work, girl, work. You know, he didn't say all that. I'm improvising. And then he went on to shame her by further saying, like I said, the Tawanda, I know she, she's going to work like that guilt, guilting her into believing that if she decided to be a kept wife, that some way that's like unholy, ungodly, like, you know, like the idea of him being the man and fully providing for her as a man, some way she should feel ashamed of that. Ladies, you really have to be mindful of men. And I'm not saying this to pick apart their marriage because, of course, you can't take one clip and make that the sum total of their marriage. But what I can say is that that is a sign of a man who or with whom your identity, your femininity is not safe with. If you're with a man who doesn't understand, number one, she was giving him a compliment. And the fact that he got so defensive over a compliment, what woman normally comes online and says, well, I don't have to go to work, but I choose to. My man, he could provide for me, you know, financially and everything else. You know, I'm a, I could be a kept wife. That's what she was implying, that I could be a kept wife, but I choose to work. And instead of him just going with it, accepting the complimenting, you know, just letting her have it, he went ahead and said, no, you have to work. Just sitting around getting your nails done. You're not doing that. What's wrong with her getting her nails done? What's wrong with her being the type of wife who is more soft, more gentle? You know, she's not constantly out of the house doing different things with her family, you know, doing different jobs and things. What's wrong with a woman being taken care of by her man? You're her husband. Why is that not okay? Why was he so defensive? And I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that many men are accustomed to seeing women work as hard as them, go as hard as them. And in their specific case, I know that he knows about her relationship with her ex-husband, Andre. I know that he knows that she carried that relationship. We all know. If you watched Braxton Family Values, you know that she carried that relationship. She was the breadwinner. She was the provider. She did everything. She wasn't able to really be there as much as she wanted to as a mother because her husband, her ex-husband, was so lazy. He never held down a job. He was not able to provide. So she was always the one with Tony, the backup singer and assistant and doing different things. And who knows what other ventures she had. And this is not me putting down her life. I'm telling you what was in the show. If you saw Braxton Family Values, she told everybody. But I say that to say that he saw her and was like, I'm going to get me a Braxton and I'm going to get me a hardworking woman that won't need nothing from me. It'll just be companionship. Okay? When a man feels like you are able to do all of the things that he should be doing, he will go out of his way to humble you. Even in weird circumstances where you are giving him respect. And this goes to show you that even if you are a kind, gentle, 
you know, you try to change your ways and be more feminine because I definitely see in recent years with her, she doesn't seem as rah-rah as she used to be. She doesn't seem as stern as she used to be. She's definitely trying to lean into her femininity a little bit more. And that moment on TikTok, that was a completely soft and gentle moment for her. That was a completely soft moment where she wanted to just show that wifely side of herself, you know, her and her husband. She wanted to be a little more intimate with the people and let you all know what she's dealing with, how her husband is. He's so sweet. He's able to do this. He's a provider. She was giving him the utmost respect. And he took that as an opportunity to remind her, nope, you're not as privileged as you think you are. You got to work, girl. Put that them feet to the pavement. Go to work. That's embarrassing. So ladies, I give you this to tell you that men, when you get together with a man, Number one, you have to understand and know that man's value system. If that man doesn't understand that traditionally men are to be the providers, men are to be the protectors, that a woman wanting to work, it should not have to be an absolute must in order for you all to thrive and survive in the relationship. Now, I can hear someone saying that, you know, in today's world, today's economy, it takes two incomes. I'm not saying that it doesn't. I'm not saying that she doesn't need to work or shouldn't want to work or something like that. I'm saying the way you work and the option, you should have an option. When you get married to a person, you should have the option to work. It shouldn't be absolutely mandatory for y'all to live. If that man understands the principle that when he gets married, he's a provider for his family, you working should be something that, you know, you'll do because you know it'll help more, you know, help the family more. It might soften the blow a little bit. It might provide a cushion of some sort. It might give you these extra things, even though your husband is providing the necessities, you want some extra stuff. So you're going to do what you're doing. But when you have a choice to do something, you have the opportunity to think about how you want to move. But if you're with a man who in essence is telling you work, work, work. Like he's barking at you. Like you will work. What I got from that, it was scary because what I heard is that no matter how tired she gets, if she decides she really wants to be that feminine soft place for him, she decides that, you know, mentally, I just want to take a time out. And I know she's not a regular person. Like she's more like a celebrity. So they probably have endless money. So she could probably still do that with or without him. But the point I'm making is that when you're with a man who won't even give you the option to be able to rest. That is a nightmare situation to be in. He shamed her saying, you're not going to be the type of woman just sitting around getting your nails done. What's wrong with a woman pampering herself? What's wrong with a woman taking care of herself and not constantly working? And that further went along to prove the point that many men today only see women as valuable when their feet are to the pavement, when they're working themselves into exhaustion. What is the number one thing when a man, what's the best quality about me? And this is a good or bad intention man because it's a part of the programming. What is the number one thing a man will say to you when you say, what are the best things about me? What are my great qualities? Well, you a strong woman, especially when you ask a black man that you ask a black man, the first thing he going to say, if he know you, you a strong woman, you don't take no stuff. And it's like, because it's this program for them to use that and see that as the number one highest compliment for their women. But what they don't understand, and I'm not saying to say that it's wrong per se, it's because of the notion or the idea that they're giving that women want to be strong because they are strong. They want to constantly be strong. They want to constantly be hard workers. They want to constantly be able to put their feet to the pavement and just keep pressing on. They want to have to fight every battle. And what they don't realize is that many women, just because they can be that way, they don't want to be that way. I'm at the point where don't call me strong because if you calling me strong, what you're trying to say is that I can take everything, bear everything, do everything, and I will not. In recent years for myself, I have softened up. I have softened up not just in the way I carry myself, but in the way that I live, um, the things that I do, even with work. You know, there will be times where, you know, I didn't feel my best. It's the first day of flow. 
And, you know, I will still go to work. I would just press on through, feeling horrible. My husband knows I'll text him and be like, I'll see you this afternoon. I'm not going in. I'm tired. He's like, okay. The end. But see, many of us have been conditioned into believing that if we don't just keep pressing forward, we're not valuable. And the best part of having a man who is masculine and has traditional values, he will understand that there's a difference between man and woman, that a man, that a woman physically cannot and should not withstand all of the pressures that a man should. But when you're dealing with a man who doesn't understand that, you know what, maybe she's in a season of life where she doesn't want to work as hard. So me as a man, I should always leave that space open for her to be able to rest. What I got from him is that as long as you with me, you not want me of the rest. He humbled her for the most weirdest thing. I don't get it. But ladies, I say that to say that know your man, know who you're with. And sometimes it's best to just think these things about your man and not verbalize it to people, especially when you don't know what's going to come out of his mouth. If you know you're with a man that just doesn't know how to flow with it, he doesn't know how to just go with what you're saying, and he going to come along and use that as his time to shine in the wrong way, keep it to yourself. Tell him something privately. So he, and he probably, if she probably would have told him that privately, he probably would have had all kinds of sweet words for her and, you know, everything else. But the fact that she did it publicly and she showed him a compliment publicly and he humbled her publicly and got defensive over being thought of and looked at as a provider, that's an even deeper issue. And I think I'm going to do a video on that next time. So if you watch this video until the very end, Put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.